Hey guys, it's Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters and uh, all the things. I'm like off of there, which you can go to. Uh, so, uh, you know, I was thinking about the other night. Um, so growing up, you know, back in the day, back in the day, um, I always liked that uh, having my place as kind of the gathering point. Uh, where all my friends would come over, we would have parties, not parties in the tip. Like, our parties consisted of a lot of video games and a couple, uh, at the time, they were cubes of Mountain Dew. And, uh, and that's how we did it. You know, that, that's how we hung out. That's, uh, that's, that's how we had a good time. Uh, to having pay per view parties, to, you know, having, you know, we, we, we would have Friendsgiving um, uh, at our place uh, when we started having a house. And then, you know, that kind of trailed off but of course i've always dug that i always dug being kind of the facilitator right um getting getting people together bringing friends together that 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 are from different circles and just kind of hanging out and having a good time and over the years i realized that was kind of transitioning um now we have this podcast studio and we're hoping to you know do some more podcast studio things in the future and people gather to have discussions now. Uh, I was this is a revelation as I was uh, taking a break and missed uh, Tuesday night's podcast day. And it was a very stacked one. I, I kind of overbooked things as I've been uh, uh, tending to do lately. Uh, and that's a whole other discussion. And I realized I kind of kind of looked up and, and and I saw you know all the guys kind of hanging out there. And I realized that this concept has kind of transcended, you know, um, just filling my house with people or filling <laughs> or back home, poor dad, uh, filling my bedroom with people, you know, to hang out and, and play video games or whatever. And have the run of the place. Um, and, uh, but, but looking up and seeing that, that we have this group of people, you know, at the time, even just thinking, um, I get to sit back and, and, and just kind of watch these guys, uh, have a conversation without me in between, uh, recordings. And, uh, that, you know, we have this crew that uh, is in, in New York, Texas, um, California, all around Pittsburgh and greater Pittsburgh um, is really cool. And I realized that th that gathering place that we used to have is now digital. And we've talked about several times on this show and I've talked about a lot, you know, kind of lowering the barrier and how, how these have kind of open things up and i think that's that that was a really cool revelation uh yeah we're creating content we're creating shows here um but everything you know these these are the fun shows of course awesome cast wrestling mayhem show i mean these are these are these are the passion shows and these are the ones where people are on board because they want to they want to be a part of it and that's and i can never you know uh discount that you know these guys are these guys are awesome that they want to do this every week right um and uh, and it's become it's become my digital house, you know. It's become it's become my digital uh, 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 gathering place, you know. And it's uh, it, and it's been a pretty interesting um, um, experiment, I guess, uh, over the years. And I, I think that's a cool play, cool thing to to realize, you know. Uh, there's uh, geez, somebody somebody the other day was talking about things and, and called uh, Twitter anti social media, and uh, and 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 I think. Yeah, there's there's that, but um, you know, this is the kind of thing it facilitates, and I guess it depends on the experience that you have out there. If you're in a certain position where you know everything, it seems like everything's talk, everybody's talking at you, you know, which I realize the individual has a little bit of a bigger name, it probably seems like that. But um, um, but if you're you're able to cultivate a little bit of a community like we have been able to do around these shows and around the studio uh i think i think you can have something pretty cool happening um like that so it feels like back in the day I, you know i always just appreciated having friends together and now i can look at my screen and and appreciate having friends together and it extends beyond that um much like i'm always amazed because i know certain people because of twitter um I was always kind of would kind of sit back and kind of look around uh, whenever we did our Yins team softball games. And I would just kind of think to myself, um, would this group of people be together if it wasn't for social media? Um, you know, uh, it, it, we're kind of a bunch of, you know, 
geeks of, of sorts, uh, not the most physical, I, as we got slammed when we were part of the, the, the city's PSL league, uh, so we did our own thing. Um, but just looking at this group of, of, of journalists and, and TV and TV people and, 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 and radio people and, 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 uh, uh, programmers and designers and, and, you know, and everything. And just looking at the kind of, uh, uh, interesting personalities. And I, I just don't, I can't imagine we would have just run into each other at, at what, I don't know. And, uh, have, have befriended. I, I'm, I'm kind of amazed at the people that, that are in my social circles now because of all this is because again, that barrier dropping, um, from, uh, uh, social media and, 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 and technology, I guess these days. Right. Uh, and to bring that around to, um, I think the same thing happens here. You know, I don't think I would have run into, uh, Matt, who's, you know, a, a freaking TV producer, uh, down here and, and be able to kind of connect with him if it wasn't for this. Although, it's, <laughs> although it sounds like I've known a lot of people that he knows. So maybe that would have happened eventually anyways, you know, or that, you know, this group of people have hung out, um, or, or that we'd be, uh, certainly that we'd be, you know, just kind of, uh, uh, friending with, with a guy who's in uh, San Antonio, Texas, and another guy in El Paso, Texas, you know, just that love lucha wrestling. And I got to learn about that, you know, it, it's really cool. And again, this is kind of something that we've built over years and years and years. And it's not like you're going to start up a Facebook group and boom, something's going to happen. But uh, when if you're able to cultivate that, you become able to become friends. I'm starting to see that magic happening. I think a tiny bit uh, over on another Facebook group uh, because there's a great one that's uh, called "Building Building a Better Beach View" about the neighborhood, about the stuff that's happening around here, and that interconnectedness is happening again. You know, again, we don't run into each other. Um, in the neighborhood, there's not a lot of opportunity to run into each other in the neighborhood. More is coming every day. It didn't used to be anything up there at the top of the hill, but now there are these other businesses. And now, now I've gone to one community meeting. Um, I can't just go and be myself, uh, be by myself at the at the coffee shop. I will. I have to at least put my head up and say hi to people that I recognize as they they, they walk in now. You know. Um, but again, it's extending that coffee shop as I've talked about in the past. You know, and uh, and I think it's a really cool concept, and I think it's one to explore. So let me know how how, um, how are you seeing? Um, um, where do you hang out? I guess is the question for today. Where do you hang out online? Where where's what's your stomping grounds? Um, and uh, how have you connected with people online that you probably wouldn't have otherwise if it wasn't if that wasn't available to you? Um, think about where you're at right now. Think about where you're at right now, and the connections that you have. And think about how different it would have been if it was 10 years, 15 years ago. 10 years might be okay, but no, 15 years ago. Would you have the connections that you have now? How many of those are from online? A friend Katie keeps saying, uh, oh, these are friends that we met on Twitter. Um, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> but, you know, that stigma might be wearing off uh, here uh, as that becomes more commonplace. You know, I mean, how many, t how many times... Have you talked with somebody online on a message board on a podcast, and then you get to go to a conference or visit a town and you meet the person in person? Um, I think that's a really cool concept that we're able to accomplish these days. Uh, let me know what you think, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please sign up for the newsletter. I got a little uh, write ups. Every Monday, we're going to have some guest posts as well in the near future. Let me know what you think or what you want to hear about. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.